Okay. Now we also know we have some more insight to this level here. Okay. Actually, this is something we cover all the time in here, and this is why it's going up. Um, <laughs> is that we look for, okay, first off, not just the heat map like this, but did they stay in the book and transact? Okay, and they did here, right? Some of it was pulled, but a lot also transacted here. This is higher liquidity, okay. Uh, and it, it started to transact into that area, right? And then what we also know, too, or what we look for, is not only the first move into that area, okay? We're looking for just, you know, this is only like a point of, at, you know, S&P full point or so, okay? We want to see strong selling come in, moving it away from this previous range. And this isn't really it, okay? It might they might come back down and retest this and then do it, okay? And we'll be on the lookout for it, okay? But this is, it's not enough of a point move, and it's really not quite enough of, um, of selling, okay? So <laughs> it comes back up into the range again, right? Uh, and um, uh, so this, this breakdown failed here, basically. Now, this is, that's the, the analysis we typically go through. Now with the stop iceberg tracker here, we have a lot more information and understanding of what happened here. We know that these are stops being triggered into high liquidity here on the bid. We also know that there's icebergs here on the other side absorbing those stop orders. Okay, So we're looking to see if then maybe we get more buyers starting to come in here because it came back into the range. Okay, And see how they're pulling now? Now we're looking for back to 09 and 0.9 and a half, okay? Let's see if we get the buyers and try to reach back up into these areas now, okay? So look at the, we're looking at the bid as well in the skew here in the auction. And uh, and then we're looking to see if uh, they start to maybe pull on the on the offer and we get buyers, okay? And then we're looking for 0.9, 0.9 and a half for now. Maybe we'll get back up into our 10 level up here again. Okay. Now this is just reading it in this this small time frame here, okay. but uh, yeah, you know we we under we have an understanding of what happened here, uh, just at around uh, uh, eleven uh, thirteen or eleven twelve and maybe thirty seconds or so, forty five seconds. Yeah, see see how they're starting to pull here on the offer. We just need the buyers to lift it, and then this will complete the pattern. And here they are. Okay, so let's see if we can get even further here, maybe back up to 10. Would love to see it trade up in this 10, 10 and a half. That was our previous target here. Okay, now what we went over here just now in this small time frame, <coughs> and a lot of help here from, I, I think from the stop iceberg tracker uh, as well, but um, uh, we can do this on much higher time frames. It's the same concept. It's the same uh, analysis. Okay? We just zoom out. Um, we look at the higher time frames. Okay, so like this example up here, you'd be looking at the higher time frame. Basically the same thing. Okay, stop run above. You can see it very clearly here. Stop run above. Okay? But above the range here, okay, buyers come in and <laughs> they break the range. But how much do they break the range by? Let's look at this. Okay, from here on up to here. So we're, we're looking at just like a point, you know, point and a half. Volume looks pretty good. You know, big big green dots. We like that. Okay. Uh, they also looks like they stayed in the book here and transacted. I'm kind of shocked they did not trade into this 11 and, and a quarter. Okay because that would be perfect if, if they did to illustrate this point of <coughs> absorption, but uh, they did not. And then the sellers come in and, and hit it pretty hard here. Okay, they start hitting the bid hard here. All right, so anyway, same idea though. Like it only went a point, okay? Big volume, that looks good, but no follow through. Once we see sellers down below where these guys broke out from, which is lines up very nicely here, as you can see uh, at this kind of 09 and a quarter level, and this is where the sellers came in and drove it lower. Okay, so uh, 
Yeah, same idea, and then you can see them following down on the offer and then pulling on the bid as well. See how they're pulling? Same idea, okay, just a higher higher time frame uh, look here, okay? And it went down to the bottom of the range here, and then that one also failed a breakdown, and it came back up into the range. All right, let's go back here. Let's look at where we are now. Okay, so we're up at our 10.5 now. Okay, still looking for it to go a little bit higher. Uh, let's see if we can get up to maybe this uh, 11 or 12 area here. We're finding the buyers. Yeah, now we're up at 11, 11 and a half, almost 12 there. Still looking for 12. I, I like the liquidity up above here. I don't know if we'll get into it, but let's let's take a look. They keep on avoiding the bigger, you know, transactions here, the higher time frame liquidity. And then we just find sellers come in and come right back down to like 10 or 9 or 8.5 here. See, they're adding more in as well. Yeah, and we're just we're just not finding buyers interested in that higher higher liquidity here. Okay, they start to veer away from it. 